basic question you have to ask is, you know, the, really the basic question is, is it right that everyone's, or is it a, 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 a service, a good service that you have to purchase and pay for? Um, that's kind of the fundamental belief. Now, the que and this is where it's tough for Republicans and Democrats to get together because Republicans really, the vast majority of us, and conservatives believe in the market. We believe in competition. Competition. We believe that uh, if you have competition, that's an if, because part of this debate is there's not really competition in the healthcare delivery system. And we can talk about why that is. But if you want goods and services distributed the best, the highest quality at the lowest price, you got to have competition. If you don't have competition, you're not going to have the, the, the highest quality of good at the lowest price. So we would have liked to have seen us continue to move in a competitive market model. What we fear, we, and I think I could say for the most part, the vast majority of Republicans, what we fear is this is a step to uh, what, what some of the Democrats want, which is Medicare for All, which is a state-run health care plan run out of Washington, D.C. Now, even in that system, there are some benefits and disadvantages. Benefits are if you need access to just basic health care, doctor visits, not bad. But if you have a major medical issue, I've never had a filibuster proof Senate. So when we wanted to move stuff like expanding health savings accounts, when we wanted to do uh, uh, address um, associated health plans, when we wanted to give the self-employed 100% deductibility health insurance claims like corporate America does. I mean, look, you've got John Deere, employ thousands of people. When they provide health care for their employees, they get 100% deduction. If you're operating a record, or well, I shouldn't say a record story. It shows how old I am, sorry. I'm back in my old English classroom. So uh, if you're, you know, at a music store, right, and you want to provide insurance for yourself, why shouldn't you get the same 100% deductibility? So we tried. They always got blocked in the, blocked in the center. We said, well, why, why would they block? These are common sense. These are some of the issues that we say both sides agree upon. Well, I think the reason was it because if we whittle down the number of uninsured, then you can't make the argument of the need to totally transform the system. So now what we have is this is the law, okay? So it's really not a debate. I voted no, they voted yes, it passed, it is law of the land, they went through the reconciliation process, which modified it a little bit. Now, where do we go from here? That's kind of where I'm at now. And I get up. That, that battle's over. Now it's in, you're in a new world. Now we have to watch the bill. There are already three things in there that they're going to have to change.